Hi, I'm Michael LaFosse from the Origami Doe Studio, and here's a butterfly that I designed and dedicated to the Ohio Paper Folders, founded by Monica Salisbury and John Scully out in the Columbus, Ohio area. We hope you enjoy this project. The model has a major color and a minor color. In this case, I want the non-white color to be the major color. We begin with that color facing up. Fold in half diagonally. Unfold. Fold in half diagonally the other way. And unfold. Turn the paper over. Fold in half, edge to edge. Unfold. Fold in half, edge to edge the other way, but leave the paper folded in half. Flip the paper so that the single folded edge is horizontal and runs along the top of the rectangle. We're going to put in two pinch marks. Take the bottom corner up to the top corner, aligning the edges, and then just put a pinch mark. Unfold. There's the pinch mark. Take the same bottom edge to the pinch mark, aligning it, and put a new pinch mark and unfold. We have a lower and upper pinch mark. Place the lower pinch mark exactly upon the upper pinch mark and fold entirely across the length. Flip the paper over left to right, fold the bottom edge up aligning the new fold with the fold that exists underneath. Unfold that flap and fold the two bottom corners to form triangle flaps aligning their top edges with the horizontal crease. Fold this flap up and you'll see a trapezoid. Lift this flap up and then rotate the paper, flipping it over on the other side. Leave the trapezoid in place, but unfold the rectangle to fold the paper in half, edge to edge. And using this vertical hinge, we're going to squash fold this smaller rectangular portion squash it symmetrically. The creases are actually already there for you to have this shape. Turn the paper over to the other side. Here's a hinge. We're going to squash fold this rectangular flap, lifting it up, open, and flatten. Use this horizontal crease to bend the top edge down. Make sure the crease bends fully inside at both ends. And then squash fold the right and left halves so they appear as trapezoids as well. There's a crease line that runs right down the middle and ends here at the middle of this edge. That's going to be our centering target fold up a portion of this edge here and then make the flap into a triangle shape that has a fold that runs from the mark up to the corner. Repeat on the other side. Nice sharp creases. Unfold most of the paper completely. Notice that there are three creases, one, two, three, on the right half up here, and also on the left, one, two, three. The outermost crease is our target crease, this one here. Take the vertical edge and fold it over to align with that crease. That sets the angle for this flap. 
Repeat on the other side. We're going to use the existing creases to recollapse that base. So, for instance, we can make this water bomb base happen. And then you remember about this. And then these little flaps come back up. Take the bottom square corner and fold it to touch the middle of the top edge, right at the top of the split. Separate these layers, have a perpendicular line with this. Open all the way to the center and do an asymmetrical squash. The fold goes from the center line of the paper up to the top corner of the wing and then flatten the hind wing. Repeat on the other side. Open the paper, swivel, and squash. The wing pattern could stay like this, but I prefer to make a straight folded edge from the bottom corner to the top. You're going to mount and fold this edge under. The fold will span this corner and the wing tip. Begin by gently rolling and coaxing the paper. And when you're pretty sure it's going to run corner to corner, you may sharpen the crease. Repeat on the other wing. So here's the completed wing pattern with this nice little striped area here and the dominant color there. This paper will be for the head. Here's a nice patterned thorax and this will be the abdomen. Mount and fold in half from the head paper all the way through the abdomen. Make this folded edge turn over on top of one of the wings. Swivel the paper so that you get a slight little stair step in here, not all the way to the corner, while having the tip of the abdomen contact this back corner of the hind wing, and then flatten. Bend the other wing up and over to cover the wing above and fold right along the abdomen, thorax, and head. Then open. We're going to squash fold the area of the head. You can see that this is a double layer. And from the underside, if you put a tool like this in here and pinch the paper around it, it will make that flat edge puff open so that it may be flattened as a squash fold like this. If you don't happen to have a tool like this, another way to do it is to pre-crease, taking the folded edge to the center with a little pinch and then doing the same thing on the other side, the folded edge to the center crease with a little pinch. Keep the body tightly closed and the thorax tightly closed while you squash fold. Now this paper may be bent underneath and you can see the butterfly's head. Here's an underside view, the butterfly's face, and you can see the folds go across left to right. Bring the wings back together over the back. 
Here's the head. From the head along to this corner, we have these folded edges. We do not turn these edges in. It's the shorter back edges that get turned in, mostly, like this. And I prefer not to make the folds go all the way to the back corner. I like to leave it a little blunted so it tapers like that. Repeat with the other flap. You can pre-crease it this way and then tuck it right in. Then fold the wings open. Limit here and up at the head. Do the same with the other side. And set them out left to right. And here we have the butterfly for the Ohio paper folders. We hope you enjoyed this project. Now go out and fold up a flock.